Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to take you through a video that's all about the beginning of my journey through Project 333. So for those of you who don't know, Project 333 was started by Courtney from BeMoreWithLess.com. Uh, essentially it's a challenge that she created to try to get people to live more minimally and simple and be a little bit more mindful about the clothing that they have in their wardrobe. So Project 333 is living with 33 items for 3 months. Those 33 items include clothing as well as accessories, footwear, and outerwear. Now I won't take you into um, a ton of detail about this project or how it was created because Courtney has a ton of amazing resources on her website which I'll link down below so you can read all about it for yourself. So I decided I wanted to try out this project because for years now simple living and minimalism have really um, caught my interest and I've tried to live a little bit more intentionally. I find simple living and minimalism comes a lot easier to me in other areas of my life and I found that the place that seems to be taking the most of my energy in a place where I maybe need to be a bit more intentional is with my wardrobe. Now currently I have way more than 33 items in my wardrobe. I probably have like 250 to like 300 items and I think that that's too much. In fact I know that that's too much. It's, it's still that amount stresses me out I, because I have a lot of laundry to do and in the morning sometimes I feel like I don't have anything to wear and those are pretty clear signs that I need to do something about it and maybe pare down my wardrobe a bit. Now this isn't the first time I've tried to declutter my wardrobe. I've tried it countless times in the past and I'm in a lot better place now than I was a few years ago but I still have quite a ways to go before I think I get to a place where I'm comfortable with the amount of items I have in my closet. I'm using Project 333 as kind of a test for myself and also to prove to myself that I can live with a more minimal wardrobe. Now I'll probably never have just 33 items in my wardrobe, I've kind of come to terms with the fact that I'll probably have a larger wardrobe than most people that live simply or more minimal tend to have. And that's because fashion tends to be kind of a hobby for mine. I get a lot of joy out of wearing things that are at least I find trendy or fashionable and comfortable and make me feel confident. But right now I know I can still achieve those things with having far less in my wardrobe than I currently have. There are some kind of rules and guidelines I've put on top of the uh, rules that are already written out for Project 333 um, and those are that I'm allowing myself to have five swaps throughout this process. And basically that means that I am allowing myself to replace five items in my wardrobe over the course of the three months with five different items. Uh, and the main reason for doing that is because I live in Canada and over the course of the next three months I could see the weather changing pretty drastically. Um, so I want to be able to swap out a pair of shorts, say, for a pair of pants. As part of this project I'm also not getting rid of anything. I'm not donating any of the items I'm not using throughout the course of this, of this uh, challenge. I'm just taking 33 items and putting them aside and everything else that I own in terms of clothing I'm tucking away in my closet and just not going to look at for 3 months. I'm using this project to help me figure out how much I can get rid of but I don't want to make those decisions right now. I just want to focus on picking 33 items that I really love that I think will work for me for 3 months and then after this project is all finished I'm going to go through and do probably a pretty large declutter of my wardrobe and try to get rid of more. So those are the reasons I've decided to try out this project. I encourage you to follow along with me or at least follow my journey and see if you could pick up on any tips that might help you live a more simple lifestyle. So be sure to subscribe to follow along with this series and my next video should be out next week and it will be about how I decided to pick the 33 items that are going to be in my wardrobe for the next three months. Alright, have a good day. Bye. Bye.